What's up, y'all? What's cracking? It's your boy Case Town, and it's back in the building. Um, I got something in my possession, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. Um, you probably can already tell from the description on what it is, but um, I actually got this for my boy from Roxy, Roxy Entertainment. It's cat on YouTube. Um, he said that you could hook the interface up to it, and I was like, okay, I need to order this joint right now, so. I can do this, and I got it home, and I said, oh, well, how do I hook this up? <laughs> There's nobody on YouTube showing you how to hook it up to the Apollo, so number one Uno, me. Going to show you guys right now. So, in my possession, we have the Tascam DM4800. Uh, I believe this is 64 tracks. Um, yeah, this is a beast of a machine. Uh, so far, I've been playing with it. Um, it took me, a, <laughs> sorry to say, but it took me uh, about five, six days <laughs> to get this Joker working. But I did it. Um, so as far, I'm, I'm going to run through a couple things first, you know, show you some stuff. You know, how to move the fade, the faders move and everything. Um, right now, it's in doll mode right now. I got it in doll mode. So, I'll show you that if I hit play on Pro Tools. Oh, yeah, I was watching that MC8. So, let me go back over here. Where my mouse at? Three, I got the three screens set up. So, come over here. You got to stop, play, record, rewind, fast forward, all that good shit. Um, and you got the mod wheel that I move it around on there too. So if I hit play, and play. If I hit stop, hit stop. You know, why? Fast forward, all that stuff. Yep, super dope. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, record. I mean, go back into that. Make sure I'm on the right. And eh, don't worry, you might have track them on. So, hit a, re a record. Let me go ahead and stop that real quick so I can, can really show y'all. So, we're on. Right here. So let's hit record. And it records up there. Play. And it'll start writing this stuff. But ain't no audio coming through there, so it's not gonna write. So that's that. Um, and how to get to that. So. My settings as followed looks like this. So copy these settings, rewind it back, however you want to do it. Boom. So if when you come when you come to it and how to get there, when you turn it on, you turn on your task cam, um, the screen, everything boots up and everything, it's gonna come to a certain screen. To get it to here. It could be on that screen or something like that. Who knows? But to get it back over there, you hit Alt and Effects and Remote. And it comes to there, that page and you set your settings like that. You got your up and down. Yeah, you got your up and down keys to select whatever you want to select. So when you want to select something, you hit Enter and it selects it. After that, very important screen that you want to come to is <clears throat> the Huey emulator is what you want to put in first. So you see where as a um, cursor on add. So all you want to do is move this mod wheel and then it'll go up and down and select the Huey 24 and then you hit enter. First thing you want to do. Second thing you're back on add again. You want to go down to MIDI control. 
that's how I did it. it. You probably could skip the MIDI control if you want to, but that's how I, I set it up. So after you get that done, then you want to come over to the machine control. And same thing applies. Um, you go to add, you scroll up and down until you get to Huey emulator and you hit enter and then it'll get, get it up there. Make sure the cursor is not on delete because you'll see it highlighted this. You go, like, oh, okay, I can select what I want to select now. And you hit enter and then erase it. So make sure that that cursor is not on the delete. If it is, just hit up the cursor to hit it right here. You definitely want to check this TRA. You see how it has a play button in there? That play button is not in there until you move the cursor over here. Um, do not highlight the whole entire thing at all. Because if you highlight the whole entire thing, you're actually on delete. And as soon as you push enter, it's going to delete. Do not do that. So let's get your cursor up here. And like I said, where it shows like that play in the middle, that's not there until you hit enter. And when you hit enter, then the play thing is going to be in there. But like I said, do not have this whole entire thing highlighted at all. That's what you don't want to do. Don't have the whole thing, entire thing highlighted and hit enter, it'll delete it. So that is how you get the functions for the play, stop, fast forward, rewind, and record. So um, let's get up out of there. So I'll show you right now how I have the task cam hooked up to the Apollo interface. So of course we got the mic ins, one, two, and everything. So we'll come around here and I have it going through ADAT, which is the optical cables. Now, the input on the task cam is going to the output of the Apollo. Now, you're gonna see two outputs on the Apollo. You wanna go to the very far right. If you're looking dead on at your Apollo, it's gonna be your right side. So you wanna go to the very far input of the ADAT and then on the out of the task cam you want to go into the end of the Apollo so that's going to be your left hand side if you're looking at the Apollo dead on and you want to go to the very far let's make sure yes you want to go to the very far left side of it you see how mine is exactly how you want it all right so then you're good to go well but i also i'm sure i also have hooked up though i also have the rcas hooked up now the top one is always white so on your apollo the very far, if you're looking at if you're looking at the Apollo dead on, it's gonna be the very it's gonna be your right side. So white to the right, white to the top, red to the bottom, red to the left on the Apollo. So that's how that's set up. So we come over here, back over here. Um, one more thing. So, on the console software, what you want to do, or how I have it, is it normally it's going to be on the internal. Take it off the internal, put it on ADAT. Over here, Pro Tools. 
then your channels will pop up for your input. One or three. Them is the ones that are highlighted for me. I'll, it might be different from you. So you just got to kind of play around with it and see which one is going to send the audio through and everything. So for this track, it's on eight at two. Let's try this on eight at three, but that's what I, I think I had some routing done a little different at first. So I definitely want to put it back to eight at two. So that's going to give you all your audio signal flow going through there. And how I have it, you'll still be able to get, like if you're on YouTube or something like that. So I'll show you guys right now. If you're on YouTube and you will still want to be able to hear your YouTube music and everything. Because everything, remember, everything is coming through the Apollo. So, so if you still want to hear your music... Niggas selling they soul now, what's next, what's next, killing the tape like Memrex. So don't give me a strike for that, I'm just showing people how to do this. So, you'll still be able to get your audio. So, we're going to go up to the Apple sign. System preferences. And sound. It's still, you still want to be on the Apollo for your output. And you still want to be on the Apollo Firewire for your input. So that's so that you'll still be able to get your sound to still come through there, even though all this route is going on. So that's that. All right. So another step is that what you want to do is you want to come up to setup bam and you want to create your Huey so normally it's on non and then you got to click the Huey to get it on there so you do it for one and two one is always going to be 48 Zero, zero, 001 look for them numbers that's receive send 48 same exact thing you go to the Huey 2 task cam you want to go 48 zero, zero, 002 for the receive and then 48 zero, zero, 002 for the send all channels 8 it's going to pop up do you hit okay and you're good to go you have all your control um, of your DAW from the task cam. So stop record, your faders, your uh, everything corresponds, record, uh, solo, and the whole nine. So if I solo a track on here, um, solo, it'll solo over here. Bam, see that one just light up. So I solo right here and it's soloed over there. Take it off, put it on, take it off. And if I want to do mute, same thing applies. Mute, the whole nine. Uh, record, whole nine. So that's how you definitely want to set that up like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole breakdown, man. Um, on how to get the Tascam 4800 linked up to the Apollo interface, the, the Apollo Firewire interface. And the reason why I have it hooked up like this is because I don't have the Firewire, um, port in the back of this, but I have one coming. So I won't have to worry about doing that. I can go straight to the Firewire and it, uh, It'll link up just how you would have your Apollo hooked up to your DAW software. Um, this will hook up the same exact way. I don't have to have the, the Apollo unless I want the Apollo. So I can still do it like that and everything's all good. 
And like I said, man, just follow the settings and everything should run just smooth for you guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Like I said, I'm the very first one to show you how to do it like this. Your boy Case Town Business, Town Business, dig that boy.